This is the third video in my series of watercolor painting for the absolute beginner and I'm going to cover watercolor paint as well as the other basic supplies you need to begin painting. Just a reminder that this series of videos is leading up to a tutorial on painting this little um, vase of flowers. When you are finished with this, I think it's going to be seven videos total, you will have all the supplies you need and all the knowledge you need to be able to paint this little, um, these little roses. So let's get started with what kind of paint you need. First of all, watercolor paint is called watercolor because it's water soluble. You can dilute it with water even after it's dried and you can clean it up with water. It comes in three basic types. It comes in tubes. It comes in pans, which these are sort of pans. This is a really cheapy kid set, but um, pans are more solid like this. And then it also comes in liquid. I'm going to recommend that you buy tubes to start out. Um, these come in two basic grades. Um, they come in student grade or professional grade. And it will usually say that on the label. I'm not sure if this one does or not, but um, it usually does say that on the label. If you can, buy professional grade. Um, if you really just don't want to um, spend that much money or you can't, because they are a little bit more expensive than student grade, um, you can buy student grade paint and that will be fine. But be sure you're buying watercolor paint. There's a paint called gouache, and the tubes can off, often look a lot like watercolor, but they're not watercolor paint. So be sure that you are actually buying tubes of paint that are watercolor. So you will need for, um, for the tutorial that I'm doing, you're gonna need, you're only gonna need three colors. Um, I'm going to recommend ultramarine blue, Hooker's Green and Alizarin Crimson. Um, obviously for this little painting, red, green, and blue are the colors I've used. If you can't find these exact colors, don't, you know, don't stress too much about it. You can substitute um, Windsor Red, Windsor Blue, Windsor Green. Those would work. There's a color called Thalo Green would work. Cobalt Blue would work. Um, this is Scarlet Lake that would work so just buy three shades of paint if you can get the ultramarine the hookers green and the lizarin that's great just don't the one I the one I wouldn't buy is don't buy cadmium anything that says cadmium on it it's cadmium red cadmium blue um, they tend to be kind of chalky and I don't think you're probably not going to get very good results as a beginner so but you, for the most part, you can't go wrong. Um, just buy a shade of red, a shade of green, and a shade of blue. And I'm going to list these below the video so that you know um, how the color, exactly the spelling and what to look for. So that is paint. The other things you're going to need is a palette of some type. This is a cheapy palette from Michael's. For $2, you'll need something with wells and then something you can mix the paint in. Even a plastic ice cube tray will work. Um, and then these are some of the other palettes that I have from painting over the years. These are sold, or similar ones are sold at Michael's. You will need something to hold water. I use a leftover Cool Whip container. Um, you can even use the lid to that container as a palette if you need to, as long as it's you want white plastic, the same with the ice cube tray, just so that the paint color shows up against the white. And then you're going to need a roll of paper towel. And that is all you're going to need to get started. In my next video, I'm going to show you how to set up your workspace, and we'll get started with basic painting techniques. 